Hello, in this tutorial we are going to learn some of basics of barbering schedule. Now if you are beginner then this module barbering schedule basics is very important for you. Note this one ok. So let's get started. We will start right from the introduction ok. Let's look about the definition of barbering schedule. Now barbering is process of cutting and bending of reinforcement bars into required shape okay this is very important what cutting and bending of reinforcement bars into required shape this is all about the bar bending now we have some important points to understand before creating bbs okay it is very important to understand these points first of all you need to understand the location of bar okay in your main drawing you need to uh, understand the location of bar this is the first step it is very important next to it you need to understand the type of the bar as well okay from your main drawing you need to understand the type of bar which type of bar we are using over here first what the location of bar then type of bar then we need to just understand the size of the bar as well okay which size we are using over here in this particular bar next to it uh, we need to just find out the cutting length of the bar okay cutting length i'll just let you know about this as well what is cutting length if you are uh, very beginner then definitely i'll just let you know about but uh, if you are from the civil background then you have you may have the idea regarding the cutting length next to it number of bars how we can find out the number of bars we will look about this as well okay and next bending detail of bar bending detail mean in which angle we are going to bend the bar okay which type of bar we are using and how many bends we are using over there so these are different things over here okay so it is very important to understand and at last we need to find out the total quantity of steel this is main purpose for us okay how much steel we required uh, for it could be slab or uh, it could be beam columns or uh, footing okay so these points are very important to understand before creating the bbs now next to it uh, let's look about different diameter of bars and unit weight of bars okay we will look both in fps system mean foot and the inches and mk system as well mean millimeter centimeter and meters as well okay first of all let's look about the imperial okay now in imperial or in fpa system uh, we have different bars like number three bar number four bar number five bar number six bar number seven bar eight bar nine bar ten bar okay so what does it really mean number three mean three by eight inches okay all you need to do is if you want to convert numbers into inches divide it on eight okay so number three mean three by eight number four mean one by two inch mean half inch four divided by eight mean one by two okay it's mean that number four is half inch bar number five bar is five by eight inch bar number six is three by four and number seven is seven by eight and eight mean one inch bar okay and 9 9 by 8 and 10 10 by 8 okay so these things are very important how we can convert numbers into inches okay if you want to convert the numbers into inches okay this is particular for the bars okay three number four number all you need to do is you need to divide it on eight okay because uh, if you have listened the word sutra okay in one inch we have eight sutra we have eight parts okay so that's why we need to divide it on eight in order to convert uh, numbers okay into inches so we have what eight numbers okay in one inch what in one inch one two three four five six seven eight eight we have eight number in one inch so if you want to convert numbers into inches you need to divide it on eight okay important one because when we will create the bbs these all things will be used over there okay so and don't skip these things right now okay don't skip this video or uh, don't move forward okay this is very important to understand and uh, then next to it uh, let's look about the unit weight as well 
let's suppose if we have three number bar uh, we will have 0 0.170 kg per feet the unit weight per feet we will have 0 0.170 kg for three number for four number it will be 0 0.302 kg per feet let's suppose we have one feet length okay one feet length and uh, this is three number bar okay one feet and this is three number bar the weight of this bar will be 0 0.170 and if it is four number then it will be 0 0.302 kg and if it is five number then 0.473 kg i'll let you know about the formula regarding this as well okay how we can find out this and uh, then let's suppose we have six number then 0 0.680 and seven 0.926 and eight 1.21 kg and nine 1.53 kg per feet okay unit and 10 1.89 kg per feet okay so this is basically the unit weight for each of this bar okay next to it it is very important okay the standard length okay in feet for one bar is equal to 40 feet okay standard length of one bar is what the 40 feet okay now next let's look about the metric as well okay in millimeter so in millimeter we have 6 mm bar 8 mm 10 mm 12 mm 16 20 25 28 32 36 40 okay and uh, this is the unit weight let's suppose we have one meter bar okay one meter here we have what one feet and here we have one meter bar then what will be the weight of 6 mm steel 0.22 kg for 8 mm 0.394 kg for 10 mm 0.616 kg for 12 mm 0.88 and so on 1.57 2.46 we'll look about the formula as well now important here is uh, we our main unit here is fps okay mean feet and the inches okay so you need to understand this data fully it is very important okay now standard length in feet is 40 feet and standard length in meter is 12 meter for one bar okay so i hope you understand all of this okay and if not then watch this video again okay from the start now next to it let's look about the formula to find a to find out weight of bar in feet first okay in feet in fps system let's look about the formula to find out the weight of bar now weight per feet okay unit what weight i'm talking about the formula over here is d square divided by 24 divided by 2.204 okay d what is d d mean the dia of bar d square divided by 24 okay the weight will be in pound and you we need to just convert it into feet uh, sorry in kg so we'll divide it on 2.204 okay now note this one dia should be in numbers not in inches and the feet dia should be in numbers okay when you will find out the weight per okay in feet you need to put the dia in numbers number three number four number five okay don't convert that particular dia into uh, feet and the inches okay next to it uh, let's take an example over here and uh, let's suppose we have uh, dia bar as number four okay and weight per feet will be equal to what d square okay and here we have took what dia in numbers 4 square divided by 24 divided by 2.204 so it will become what 0 0.302 kg 0 0.302 kg you can see over here let's move over here for 4 number it is 0 0.302 kg okay so this is how we can find out this one now let's suppose if you want to find out for the total bar we know the standard length in feet is 40 feet all we need to do is uh, this unit okay this unit weight we need to multiply it with 40 in order to find out for the complete bar that is 40 feet so it will become what 4 square dia square divided by 24 divided by 2.204 this is our basic formula for unit weight multiply by 40 standard length of our bar one bar and it will become what 12.10 kg per bar so for four number bar our our 
total weight will be equal to 12.10 kg okay for phone number likewise you can put any of the dia over here in order to find out the weight okay so hope you really understand now next let's look about mk system as well in meters so in meters to find out the weight uh, we need to use this formula d square mean dia square divided by 162.162 now note dia should be in millimeter okay in fpa system dia should be in numbers okay don't convert into inches and the feet and in mk system through this formula dia should be in millimeter don't convert it in centimeter or in meter okay so dia should be in millimeter now let's take an example let's suppose we have one bar as 6 millimeter and weight per meter will be equal to 6 square okay dia square okay divided by 162.162 it will become what point triple two kg so let's look about this as well point triple two kg you can see over here so okay and a weight per bar and we know the standard length of one bar in meter is 12 meter okay so we will multiply unit multiply by standard length of bar so it will become what 2.67 kg per bar okay for 6 millimeter bar our total weight for one bar will be equal to 2.67 kg per bar so this is all about from this lecture hope you really understand this session i'll see you in the next